In this video, I want to compare Superbase versus Firebase and tell you which one is the best. So let's go. Before starting the video, make sure to watch this video till the end because I mentioned the important things at the end of the video. Superbase and Firebase are a popular platform that help developers build apps without managing complex backends. They offer databases, authentication, storage, and more, but they differ in key ways. First, let's talk about database. Superbase uses a PostgreSQL, a relational database with tables or a structured data. Great for apps like e-commerce or analytics with easy SQL queries. Firebase uses no SQL for flexible document-based data. Perfect for chat apps or games but trickier for complex queries. The winner in database is Superbase for structured data. Firebase for flexible data. Now let's talk about real time. Superbase offers real time updates tied to its database. Solid for structured data, but less versatile for other events. Firebase, on the other hand, built for real time, syncing data across devices instantly, ideal for live apps like chat or dashboard. The winner in this section is Firebase for real time features. Now let's talk about authentication. Superbase secure email, social, and phone logins with database driven access control. Powerful but need SQL knowledge. Firebase authentication, on the other hand, easy email, social, and anonymous logins with simple security rules, beginner friendly but less customizable. In this section, the winner is Firebase for ease, Superbase for custom control. Now, let's talk about serverless function. Superbase edge function in JavaScript slash TypeScript, fast but limited languages. Firebase, on the other hand, cloud function with more languages like Node.js. Python, and etc. and triggers. The winner in this section is Firebase for flexibility. Now, let's talk about the storage. Superbase is S3-like storage with database permission, great for media apps. On the other hand, Firebase simple Google Cloud storage, easy to use with security rules. The winner is tight. Both are strong in this section. Now, let's talk about pricing. Superbase predictable pricing, generous free tier and affordable plans, for example, pro at $25 a month, can self-host for free. Firebase, on the other hand pay as you go with the free tier but costs can rise with high traffic the winner in pricing section is superbase for predictable costs firebase for small projects now let's talk about scalability superbase scales well with red replicas but needs some setups firebase on the other hand auto scales on google's infrastructure great for global apps the winner in this section is Firebase for easy scaling. Now let's talk about open source. Superbase is open source, so you can self-host and avoid lock-in. Firebase on the other hand is tied to Google, harder to move away from. The winner in this section is Superbase absolutely. So which one is the best? Pick Firebase for real-time apps like chats or games, or if your beginner wanted quick setup with Google's tools. Choose Superbase for structured data apps like e-commerce, predictable pricing, or if you want open source control. The final pick, Superbase edge out in 2025 for its flexibility, cost clarity, and SQL power. But Firebase is great for mobile first, real time apps. Try both with small projects to see what fits your vibe. So, thanks for watching this video.